ICT's favorite trading strategy, the turtle soup. And I'm sure you're wondering what is up with the name, right? Because <laughs> I definitely did when I first saw it. So let's go ahead and break that down. I'll tell you why in the hell it's called turtle soup and what does that have to do with trading? All right, so turtle traders back in 1983, a trader named Dennis began teaching his trend following strategy. And this is kind of like a really famous group of traders now. There's plenty of books on them, but basically they are breakout traders. So they buy when a new high has been made or a new low, and then that's when they go short. So ICT, yeah, you probably know this guy, the guy that made all these videos. He um, got the name originally from Linda Rashke, but put his own spin on it. So why is it called turtles? Because the turtle traders that are buying the breakout and selling the support break are going to end up turtle soup for the traders that actually understand how the market works. And we're going to sell the breakout and buy the support break. So please like share and subscribe to my channel a lot of you guys are watching but not subscribing i'm gonna need you to subscribe if you want me to keep making videos for you guys i like teaching but i need to know that you guys like the video so please like and subscribe and comment below what videos you guys would like to see next so let's go ahead and get into the main content all right so the basic definition of the turtle soup is it it's a run on liquidity and it's also a purge and revert so once the run on liquidity is completed then it has purged the liquidity and then reverts another term that i heard a lot of people call it is a liquidity sweep so it's just running the stops that are above a previous day's high an important high equal highs wherever trader stops are going to be pulled up that's all right so let's look at some examples the, here before we go into the chart so you happening. just have a mental image of what you're looking for so this is an important low it can be the uh, previous day's low previous week's low session low overnight low it's just it's something you got to watch for it's the reaction that matters so price comes up and then makes a lower high but then you're going to see an aggressive reaction here and uh, depending on the time frame you want i like to see a wick so then the best place to enter for these kind of trades is going to be in this box so i like to wait until it crosses back over that low and then here's the sell one so it busts through at the important high. Most of the time, this is going to be the previous day's high or session. And then you want to enter short. And so there is a risk. It's not going to work 100% of the time. But uh, I'm going to show you how to keep your risk small on the lower time frames so that you're not risking too much. But it is a high percentage of the time because of the purge and revert scenarios that exist. So this is my uh, small time frame. This is the setup I like to see on the one and two and three minute chart is come consolidates, creates a equal set of highs and equal set of lows on both sides. And then the people that have been entering long here, once they are stopped out, that's when I want to enter. And this is also a sign of accumulation. So like the market maker uh, buy model would be something like this. So this is the accumulation phase. So then you want to be entering after they get stopped out. And then, so this is the sell turtle suit model on the lower time frame that I like to look for. So it consolidates, and then you same thing as the other ones. You just want to be entering somewhere around here. And that way it gives you the best risk reward. If you put a, a limit order here, you could do that, but you're going to have to put a wide stop because sometimes it goes a lot farther than you would think. All right, so where and when does this uh, setup occur? So a lot of times I see it with the previous day's high and low. I also see it a lot during their equal highs and equal lows. Uh, I see it a lot at the New York opening session within the first two hours or so. And then I also see it a lot during the afternoon session. And I'd say, I don't know, very rarely you see it during the Asia session, but it does happen and it is uh, fruitful to take it during the Asian session as well. And then we have time frame. So what time frame does this occur on? So the thing you understand is uh, time is fractal. So if it occurs on the daily chart, then it also occurs on the one hour chart. And if one hour, it can occur on the one minute chart. Okay, so I have an example here for you guys. So we have a low that's been put in the day before this is a uh, thursday the 5th 
and then we're gonna watch how price reacts after it takes the previous day's low so I'm just gonna go ahead and inch it forward so the reason that ICT likes these trades so much is because they're quick like you immediately know if you're wrong or right and the risk and reward is insane I'm telling you guys you, these are my best trades as well as soon as I heard him say that these are his favorite trades I immediately went in the charts and started studying why sorry now I think we're getting close here so I'll go ahead and change it to point one because it's very important to understand how price reacts here sorry all right now it's playing on point one so remember we're trying to look for a buy zone here so uh there it goes so now you're gonna want to watch to see how it goes back up this is slower than real time so let's go ahead and put on point three and see how, how it how it does so wicked up there and that's where you want to buy it right now let's let's see how um how this is a bad example anyway so that i mean it's kind of a good example but it's a bad example because i think yeah it's 8 30 this is a news release so it cleared out i actually remember this now uh so it cleared it out and then uh, it immediately just just ran so I'm gonna push pause and find another one all right so I actually found another one here so price have been rallying the day before really heavily and this is a three minute chart again and then it starts to consolidate overnight and this really tight range is kind of coiling in here so let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit see how I'll put that wick in but let's go ahead and look at the replay because I want you guys to understand that the um, the reaction after is very important so let's go ahead and zoom in here on the price action so I used to trade the uh, two minute chart really heavily but I recently just switched to the uh, three minute chart and I've had been having a lot more success here so let's go ahead and push play and as it drops down you're going to want to see an immediate reaction. And even on the one minute, this is a kind of a, the replay is a better tool because the bars are a lot more realistic looking. So as it comes down, we're going to be waiting for a re the reaction. And then we want to see immediately bullish after the run. So I hope you guys are seeing why this is such an easy strategy. You find the previous day's highs and lows, and you draw a line, and then you wait for the line to get violated, and then you wait for it to go back through. So see how it dips below a little bit, and there's the actual dip. So that's where you'd want to buy, but I came in late because it stalled. But see how you get that immediate reaction? That's what you want to see, and then see that, that volume imbalance will probably get filled before it continues going up. But so that's a reaction. This is the area that you wanna you wanna be buying in. Cause what? So there, let's say you got a good entry at 80. You're only risking a tick. One tick. But to be smart, I'd put at least three, three in there. Sorry, let's go on to a sell example. Let me pause the video here. Okay, so here we have an actual ASA session example these are the only kind of trades i take during the asia session is when it runs the uh the uh, daily high or low low high and then i wait for a reaction here so the reaction is kind of slow because it is the asia section but um so this is the uh, high that was put in that friday and then this is the sunday opening and it rips up above there and this is why you don't want to use limit orders even though it's only uh, four points it's just not worth the risk in my opinion it's better to wait for it to go below and then put your stop above there that gives you a, a, a better risk reward kind of setup here so price runs up creates consolidation here see how it consolidates for a little bit and then runs up because the consolidation creates more stops being placed here people put their stops here people put their stops there and definitely a lot of stops are above that high so then after it runs it it ends up dumping the rest of the night into the morning so we can go ahead and uh, turn on the replay here to do that you press that button right there 
and then we'll just go ahead and save some time. I don't want this video a very, very I don't want this video to be very long. I want it to be nice and short and to the point. So let's go ahead and push play. And see how it ticks there, but it doesn't take it. And then bam, just one quick bar through there, and then you never see that high again. You could sell right here, but I don't think this is not the best way in my opinion. I've done that before, but after getting burnt and getting paper cut after paper cut, and then finally it goes my way after I'm already frustrated, I've just learned to kind of just stop and not do that anymore. So please like and subscribe, you guys. I hope this is understanding for you. So the next video is going to be on um, market maker models, buy and sell models. And please like and subscribe. I want to keep giving you guys value. You guys can also check out my other videos that should be popping up on the screen.